Thanks for staying with us. The new Nigeria People's Party, NNPC, NNPP rather, has accused the All Progressive Congress, APC, of making a desperate grab for power in Kanu State. In a statement signed uh, on Wednesday by Ladipo Johnson Esquire, National Publicity Secretary of the NNPP, the party alleged that the APC is using the illegal means to try to snatch power from the duly elected government of engineer Abakabir Yusuf. The NNPP also alleged that the APC is using the judiciary and security forces to undermine the democratic process and incite violence in the state. Gladly, we are being joined by the same Ladipo Johnson, Esquire, National Publicity Secretary of NNPP. Good morning and welcome to the program, sir. Good morning, sir. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Mm. Let us have a, a background uh, as to why these accusations are flying around uh, to, uh, about the federal government on uh, what is happening in Cairo State. Okay. Um, thank you very much. You will recall that the <coughs> Ms. Anusi was deposed by the Gandhi Day led administration. The MH was um, dissolved and broken into five emirates, the one Kano MH that had been there for over 100 years. Now, um, all through the election, electionarian process, everywhere, all the 44 local governments that Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf campaigned in, the people kept saying, we want our one Emirates back, and we want the Emir back. It was a campaign promise that we will look into it, and we will do the right things to restore the glory of the Emirate of Canada. Fast forward, this happened. The State House of Assembly passed the bill, revoking the other one, and restoring the Emirates to one. And the process was followed, and the governor assented to the bill. The five Emirates, um, uh, Emirates the MAS, five Emirates were removed, and um, MAS Sanusi was brought back um, to the throne. We all heard what happened, we all did that. Now, Emir, the former Emir of Kanu, Adebayo, was out of state. And then he was brought into the state with military and police and security cover. And in fact, I wasn't there. In fact, I was told that they would have gone to the main palace. But Emir Sanusi was rushed into the main palace when they saw what was happening. And then they took him, that is um, Adobayo, to one of the guest houses or minor palaces in Nasarawa, one of the local governments in Kano, where he is today. Now, there are several things that happen where the governor would say, do this. And the commissioner of police would say, no. Um, I have orders from above, I'm doing this. Before I say that, I should let the people know that. One of the, chief, one of the chiefs of Adobai, or one of the chiefs, went to court, to the federal high court, to get an order of injunction, ex parte order. This was challenged subsequently because Every, virtually every lawyer knows that the Federal High Court has no jurisdiction when it comes to chieftaincy affairs. The judge, Honorable Justice Lima, who is the presiding judge of the Federal High Court in Canada, stated that he had jurisdiction because it was a matter relating to fundamental rights. Fundamental procedure, rights procedure rules. Only for him, a few days ago, just before the Salah break, to go on to hear a motion or hear the matter trying to strike out the law that the State House of Assembly passed, which was assented to by the gov governor. 
and he wants to rule or give judgment on that matter today. So we felt it was important, sir, to let Nigerians know that this is so clear. And I thank God for what happened in Rivers yesterday. So you will say Ladipo Johnson is making um, unfounded allegations or Rabbi Konkozo, because he spoke before I did, is saying the same thing. In, in um, Rivers yesterday, the APC is now calling for a state of emergency because there's chaos there. And that is why we say that it is clear that the federal government or the APC have a role to play in this impasse. They haven't come out. Yes, they've said that they're not the ones that have done that. But they haven't come out to tell us, no, uh, this is the way uh, former Emir Bayero had all these security people with him, bringing him forcefully into Kano, forcing him into one of the palaces against the wish of the government that is the custodian of the palaces. They haven't answered the questions as to why a commissioner for a commissioner of police in a state will keep going against the directives, lawful directives of his chief security officer, the governor of the state. So you cannot blame us because there's word on the streets. You know, all the supporters, the citizens, they meet each other and all the, there's word on the street. Oh, we are going to take over. What we couldn't do through the, the Supreme Court stop, we will do it. Once there's a state of emergency, the National Assembly will take over the state. So that is why we say they are fomenting trouble. The body language is not good. The optics are not good. I will not tell you that I know for, in cert for certainty or for certain that uh, NSA or Chief of Army Staff, or Mr. President, no. The NSA denied it when this deputy governor claimed that they were behind it. Okay, we've taken his denial. But now you all know about what is happening. From his denial, he now knows if he didn't know before. If Mr. President didn't know before, then he knows now. What have you done? Why is it the same situation? And why is it potentially going to explode? Because if that judgment comes down today and it sets aside the law, because everybody knows that court has no jurisdiction to hear that aspect of it. Because if you go to the plethora of Supreme Court cases, Tuko and Gongola, all Supreme Court cases, and there are many more, Chieftaincy has nothing to do with fundamental rights. It's a privilege, it's not a right. Mm, well, so these are the problems yeah, okay. that we, we have identified. And that is why we have said, we have decided to sensitize Nigerians through the press. Well, I, this I is don't the situation know. Yeah, I quite, I quite see uh, where you're coming from. Uh, but, you know, we need concrete evidence to show that it is the federal government that is doing this. Because body language, I, and, I, word sorry, street, body language and word on the street may, 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 I, may I ask the you some time. questions? May I ask you some questions about the federal government? Sir, would the military move without proper directive, the chain of command, Normally, your, your answer is as good. Of course, they will. Normally, they shouldn't. The military, oh, oh normally. Normally, the that's their so let us assume they didn't know. Let's say Adobayo hired some. Now they know. Since they know, what have they done about? Don't the military, don't the federal government know, or at least the inspector general of police know that the commissioner of police in Kano openly holding press conferences is going against what his governor is saying 
Don't they know? But, but wait, wait a minute. Have we, have we confirmed? So? Have we confirmed that yes. the commissioner of police, for instance, really took? Yes. The, I'm not. I'm not playing. I'm not playing devil's advocate here. But we've seen yes. an inc incident where a commissioner of INEC in a state up north made a pronouncement okay. that yes. Nigerians will say nobody send them. So have we made this connection between what the, the commissioner of police in that state said? and what the IGP also said. Has representation been made to the IGP and it has come back negative or something? Because the allegation is weighty. We need to connect all the dots to be sure that what is being said is true, not just I, the body language. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I always say, well, I've been saying it in the past few days, the mafia, the military, and politics, those three things are similar, sir. In those three things, you do not wait for proof beyond visible doubt. It's not a murder trial. When you see the body language, you see all the... Uh, you see the members of House of Assembly that are APC going to pay homage to the deposed emir, stating that you are still the emir. And the national APC says nothing. You see the commissioner of police not once, not twice, holding, I'm not in canon, you are not, but I'm sure you've seen it on the news. His uh, mother, his press conferences or his statements that no, he's following one federal high court ruling, there's a state high court ruling. He's not referring to that. He's following the ruling that all lawyers have said has no jurisdiction. Do you understand? You see, we don't... Uh, let us not... We are under siege. That is the way I put it. And that is why we went as far as saying that what we see is political. We see that they want to create chaos and then have a way of stating that, oh... It is so the National Assembly is taking over. There must be um, a state of emergency. In Rivers yesterday, the APC in Rivers State has called for a state of emergency. Do you understand? So we are preempting. We are talking because we know how volatile. You know, sir, how volatile kind of state is. We don't want a situation. It has nothing to do with party here. NMPP. It has nothing to do with us, sir. We don't want a situation that there's trouble. Then they now start knocking on my office in Abuja, say, ah, your publicity secretary. Ah, Senator Pankoso, yeah, come to Kanu. Go and tell your people. It's not our people, though. How many people form, form a political party? But those who voted are more than the political party. It is the citizens of the state. So don't hold us responsible. By way of, by way of emphasis, by, just for emphasis' sake, how is APC going to profit from a state of emergency? It is all 2017, sir. I mean, 2027. I'll go as far as saying that because we're speaking politically now. It is 2027. What will they profit if they remove Fubara from there? They have a, a caretaker governor or whatever they call it under the constitution. And then in six months' time, have elections again. Of course, they had federal minds during the elections last time. Same thing in Canon. But they lost. Mm. But would the elections be the same? You know when you have elections on the same day, anyone that wants to enforce or coerce has to be in 36 states or 30-something states. Because there are some off-season states. But when you have one election one day, the whole might of that party, of that government, will be on you. Uh, I so see. that is it. People I, say, people are saying on the street, not Ladipo Johnson, I'm not a citizen of Canada. People are saying on the streets that this is what they see. They see that when, after they defeated the APC, they were not happy. Tribunal gave some funny judgment 
Court of Appeal gave double judgment. It was only the Supreme Court that came to correct things. It wasn't enough. Now they are using a simple matter. You will recall that Sanusi was removed. Emirates was turned into five. Did any of these problems happen then? When Gandhi did it? The answer is no. Why is it now? Okay, um, well, let, let, let me, let me use, let me use. He doesn't know what is going on. Let's, let's digress a little bit. In the at the beginning, he should know by now. Yes, let's digress a little bit here. Um, yes, sir. Uh, a famous quote, I, I think it's one from one of the movies, Game of Thrones or, or something, that said, okay. power resides where the people decide. Uh, because you could be an army general um, commanding a full fleet of army, but somebody somewhere doesn't believe that you have the power. It's one feeble king somewhere that doesn't even know how to lift a bag uh, of, of pure water, let me use that, uh, that will be having the power to command you, the army general. So power resides where the people decide, not who really uh, has the power. Now, how do how do the people exercise that power? Beautiful, beautiful. The question is, whatever problem that may be happening in Kano, will the people decide in favor of the government of NNPP? I said this was a digression because will they decide in favor of the NNPP because of the workings that NNPP has shown? What has NNPP done in the first place in Kano State that will keep them or will keep the people? On its side. Well, the people are on the side of the NMP. Why? Uh, you wonder what um, Senator Pomposo did as governor, especially in his second term, to cause the people to have voted. Yes, I said that we look at what he did, that in 2019, after the 20, um, 2014 2015 elections, and um, Ganduje now went rogue. You know, we, we supported Ganduje, the whole Pankosia, put him in as governor. He turned against us. Fantastic. In 2015 and in 2019, the people who remembered what Pankosia had done, and we maintained that we won that election. That was when we now heard, uh, what was this term by, uh, inconclusive. Yeah. Inconclusive. <laughs> yeah, we were yeah, PDP man. then. Went all the way to the Supreme Court. Oh, story. Okay, we kept quiet. It was peaceful. And Gandhi continued for another four years. This time we were better prepared. They were in power. By that time, AP APC was in power. And yet, with all that power, and all they did, he was defeated resoundingly in the state. By Abba Kabir Yusuf and NMPP. And don't forget the Pankwasia had just gone into NMPP in 2022. Just like a year to the elections. So they've seen that. And since uh, May 29, um, 2023, we have seen what, even though we were in the, at the Supreme Court, I mean, court protest to the Supreme Court for eight months. We saw the work, we've seen the work that the governor has been doing. And that is why you have a swell of support mm -hmm. for the governor in Canada and for the NMPP. And I tell you, it is maintained and it is still growing. And the fact that they took the process, went through the process and did what the majority of the people want, which is to reinstate the Emir Sanusi, and to return the Emirates to one glorious Kanu Emirates that had been there for over a hundred years. Well, then it depends on who, who is talking, because uh, the previous government would say that the people wanted it. And, and they will also say that whatever is happening right now is also political, because if something has been done and a law has been passed by the State House of Assembly and assented to by a sitting governor, uh, it shouldn't go back to this, because... Uh, you should be looking forward, not back. No, so sorry, sir. What, what if, marks if, yours uh, out? If they, if they are sent, uh, they pass the law, they are sent to it, they banish Sanusi, 
And now a law has also been passed, has returned the image to one, right? And returned sanity. What on earth is the problem? Why should they be fighting this time? Uh, because Why I will also say it's political, just like uh, you say it is political to have five. Now you're returning of it, course it's, it's political. Poli Look, that aspect of it is political. Because you need the politics of the House of Assembly to do it. It's political. But I dare say that it followed the proper due process. It was longer. That process was longer. It was coming. It's like the process you use to change the national anthem. No, that one, that one was two weeks. So it's that not long enough. That was express process. That one was not long <laughs> enough. That, that's two weeks or, or less. And we changed uh, the national anthem. Uh, uh, but now, let me, just, let me just ask you. is just, we have to laugh. Yes. It's you're, so, you're it's creating, so sad. Uh, uh, you're creating this awareness right now. What do you intend to achieve by just speaking out? What we intend to achieve is that, one, we are politicians. I'm not talking as a lawyer now. I'm talking as a politician. What we intend to achieve is that I'm sitting at my desk. We are sitting on the table. And we are saying, are we going to become a one-party state? What is happening in Rivers? What is happening here in Kano? Nigerians begin to think. as a politician, as a political party, we have to draw attention to that. We have to say, especially with the fact that I know part of the law, God forbid that every man should know all the law, as said by Lord Denning, I know part of the law. I begin to say, and I've spoken to several judges, what is happening with Honorable Justice Lehman? This is not a fundamental rights matter. And even if it is, the Supreme Court has said fundamental rights has nothing to do with chieftains. Why is he eroding? Why is he hell-bent on coming to grant or give judgment today, the 20th of June? Even after he has been shown that it has been filed at the Court of Appeal, it has been entered, and it was put in his file. He saw it and he is meant under 4 rule 11 of the Court of Appeals rules. Any judge of the lower court should stop once he knows that an appeal has been entered. So when, if they get some order or judgment today or any day soon from Federal High Court, I'm not saying from State High Court. If State High Court says Sanusi was illegally brought back. Fine. Sanusi can go on appeal. But Federal High Court. Okay, well, um, uh, let's just take this. Uh, we don't want any problem. No skirmishes whatsoever. No, no violence whatsoever. Yes. Kano, like you said, is very volatile. But at this point, I think you need to talk to your loyalists as a party and the citizens uh, of Kano State. As we're you up. see, what you've said now is what the DSS will phone us and tell us, and the police will phone us and tell us. You cause trouble. Then you now say the party, there, come and talk to your loyalists. Is it your loyalists that voted? Is it only members of the party that voted? Are they the only ones that are citizens? Why don't you let the rule of law operate properly in the first place? Why don't you let constitutionalism reign in the first place? The governor is the chief security officer of the state. The House of Assembly is responsible for legislation in the state. When have you ever seen the military being used? It's been done severally, but we've all said it is wrong. Why do you, you, you want to remove a tenant? You go and use military. Okay. You don't use bailiffs, of course. Then when it happens, you now say, now you people talk to your loyalists, talk to whatever, whatever. It's wrong. Whatever is wrong is wrong. And that is why we are doing this, sir. Uh, I don't want to cry, uh, wolf. We're just saying that Nigerians beware. This is where 
this uh, avarice for power, this grabbing of states. This is where it might lead us. Am I from Kano? Okay. I'm just a member of the NPP. I'm from Lagos. Okay. Uh, God forbid that there will be any trouble there. Will I go there to go and fight? Or you expect me to go there and go and tell members or tell people in the streets? I can't even speak outside. Hey, don't fight. They've gone to cut off appeal. They've done this. That is Nigeria. That is the nonsense that we do in this country. Uh, well, um, we will not be out of it. We are not DSS, we are not police, we are not every other person, but we want peace. We hope that this peace will be achieved in the best way possible in Kanu State and in the entire Nigeria. Because um, whatever happens to one can happen to any other one. So we don't want uh, exactly. any violence to, to erupt anywhere in this country, at least not anymore. Exactly. So, but that's, that, that is why I asked you that question, sir. That how do the people... When you say it resides with the people, how do they act? Will they now say, oh, we'll wait for the next um, three more years? Uh, to come however, they, however they act, they should not be violent. There, there are ways Amen. to go about that. Amen. So we pray Amen. that that is the uh, final that. solution. Yes. We'd like to uh, wrap it up at this point with you, Mr. Ladipo Johnson. We'd like to thank you thank for you. coming on the show and telling us what is really happening. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ladipo Johnson, Esquire, is the National Publicity Secretary of NNPP, and he was telling us about what is happening and the allegations that have been leveled against the federal government, that, uh, or the APC rather, that they are interested in grabbing power, and that's why they're fomenting trouble in Kano State. That's the allegation, and we're trying to hear why the allegation in the first place. So we've been talking with him and we'll take a short break now and return with another hot topic to uh, see us through the last lap of this journey for today. Stay with us. <laughs>